vertebratum is a chest wall deformity. It's a group of deformity where sternum can go down and that can start from uh, early age. It's child is never born with it. There's a small group. The rate is around 1 to 500 to 1 to 800 birth. And it usually see in younger age, around 8 to 10, you can get obvious. And then after 13, 40, it gets deeper and deeper. Heller index is the way you measure the depth. Uh, anything which is more than 3.5 Heller index is severe. 3 to, th to 2.5 is moderate and 2.5 and below is uh, mild. And normal Heller index is 2. So pectus excavatum leads to problem. First, people can patient get pain, faulty posture, and it can associate it with sometimes a Marfan syndrome or Elher danlos syndrome, and that could be a problem with the heart and elasticity of the bone. The, it, it can be only treated when it's causing effect on lung. If, if a child is breathless, can't do exercise, or get palpitations, or a valve problem, then treating it always almost cures them from this condition. Uh, elevating a sternum away from a heart and lung will give them more space for lung to inflate and gives more space to heart to beat and eliminates arrhythmias and a valve regurgitation. Okay. Okay, pectus up is a new uh, concept. Uh, up till now, all the surgery requires you have to take out the cartilages, open the pleural cavity, and sometimes you just have to go through the chest to lift it up. There is always a worry that you may damage the heart or lung, and that's why people are a bit more cautious. Secondly, because you're doing so much from inside, there's a more pain because the bar goes to intercostal space, can give you pain to your bones, uh, and it can be quite painful for at least two to four weeks. Pectus up, you don't need any scopes, no vats, uh, and no telescope, and no double lumen tube. You do it as any small surgical procedure where you put this plate and bar under the pectoralis muscle above the chest cavity without going inside the chest. So damage to lung and heart is not there. Yeah. yeah. I think because it's, it's a new technique, there are not many people trained. So we need more surgeons to be trained. Basically, it's a very simple procedure. You need a few goes and have a look at it. Look at the concept. You are good at putting screws in plates and alignment. If you do, if your geometry is good, it works good. If you worked the orthopedics before, you know the osseous screws and drill, then it will be easy. But it's a simple thing anybody can learn. It takes, and, and it's very simple to teach. It's almost like you do one and person can be trained within few cases to do himself. Pectus up is very easy, simple, and under vision you can see it. Uh, the concept is very good. It pulls the sternum towards the rib plate and stays there. Uh, and it's, it's, it's excellent for uh, people who have symmetrical pectus excavatum, but as a new generation one can also correct the tilted uh, sternum to correct to the same level. So that's good. Uh, in the older age group, you need to be wary of calcified cartilages. And you should be prepared to excise those cartilages. Usually require two or three of the lower cartilages to excise. Then sternum can be mobilized up. But per patient who are above 40, it can be difficult to lift the sternum up without doing cartilagectomy or the part of the costal cartilages excise part of it. Then it becomes mobile. Good thing about it is that there is an incision there. You've gone under the muscle. You, are, you can expose the cartilage and do it in the same. Then you won't need a special incision for it. No, I, I tell him that I think it's a good choice. Uh, important thing is, it, if when there is stern, the pectus excavatum is in a lower third of your sternum, pectus up is a very good solution. If the sternum is flat from top to bottom, mm -hmm. pectus up may not give you desired outcome. And putting two plates, I have never tried it, but that could be a concept. But problem for upper plate, there is no landing area for it. Because you, you see, when pectus excavatum, when it goes down, you need two mountains on which the rib plate has to stay. Uh, it's not the case in upper. Only way you can do it is get a very long plates, which goes either side of the ribs to lift up. So my feeling is if the peak pectus excavatum, if you're there in lower third, pectus up is a very good solution. 
I think packed us up. It's a learning curve. Uh, the first generation packed us up had some issues. It worked, but it was quite a, a lot of wires and things required. And the lift wasn't that visible as you see. Pectus up uh, recent one, the development is fantastic because you could see your under vision, it just cranks up to the level. If the if sternal plate screw are tight and in the right place, the sternum has to lift to the, uh, to the rib plate. And I think there are new modifications of a longer screws uh, is important and using fiber wire or or a sternal wire around the plate is essential. It just reinforces what we say in English, belt and braces. And that will prevent you from having disappointment in the later dates.